Shadow Black, aka Beast Black. What's up, everybody? What's up? It's time for episode two to Red Aqua Beat or Red Aqua Blue Wesley. What is up? We're live from Shatzer Squad or Sets Catron Canada. We are live, folks. With episode two, folks. Oh yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in to the Beastly Facebook page. And the Beastly 1991 Twitch channel. Also will be uploaded to the Tyler Black YouTube channel. Thank you all very much for tuning in. We got eight matches on the card today. Eight matches, folks. That's right, eight matches. That's where we're at. We're at Saskatchewan, Canada. Eight matches on the freaking card. I hope you're all ready. Because I am. I hope you're ready, Beastly. Oh, I'm, I'm ready. I've been ready. I gotta get my world title shot in the main event. That is correct, Beastly. You get your world title shot. You do get your world title shot, buddy. Hopefully you can put in the Outlaw Bandits the world title. Hopefully. We're gonna kick. We're gonna kick this show off with the RABW States Championship match. Chris Clark challenging Damian Mercer in a pit of fire, last man standing match. Chris Clark got the pit stipulation since uh, he was no more contender, or he he was next to line for this title shot. But we have an official, we'll be crowning the official number one contenders for each title today on episode two. There will be four fatal four-way matches. Determine the next number one contenders for each of the titles. Because at the pay-per-view House of Blood, each champion, each number one contender will get a shot at the champion. House of Blood, the first pay-per-view for R.A.B.W., which is Red Aqua Blue Wrestling. And here we go. Here we go, Beastly. That's right. I need mother hellers. One your mouse about us. One your fake mouse. One your Beastly tells you like it is, folks. I'm telling you. Beastly ain't no freaking push, so he's a freaking six foot ten monster. Run your mouth at me. Introducing first. Introducing first. He is. Representing the Outlaw Bandits, the challenger, Chris Clark. Chris Clark. Chris Clark. It's here, folks. I try to do shows every other day if I can. I'm not I try to do shows when I'm not busy, but I at least try to do it every other day. So. I want to keep being consistent with when I could do wrestling. And So this company is owned by me, Cassie Lee Black, with the co-owner of Chris Clark. 
His opponent, his opponent, folks. He's representing Mercer Worldwide. He is the RABW stage champion. He's getting Mercer. Damien Mercer. Favorite color aqua blue. Boom. That's what we came up with the name, right? Aqua blue West. So, yeah. Here it is, folks. Ding, ding, ding. Here we go. Ding, ding, ding. Picking him up. Thought Buster by Damian Mercer. Ooh, kick to the back there, uh, Beastly. Man, that was nasty. Why is Damien Mercer doing this? I don't know. Dropping Chris Clark on his face. Chris Clark is 12 and 1 career in these last man standing matches for his EFA career. He's 12 and 1. The only person that beat Chris Clark was Ryan Storm. He's the only person that beat. And what the frick? Sorry about that, folks. I don't know why. Going. It's going right after Damian Mercer and the count already started. Tommy Chang, the referee, folks. Tommy Chang is our referee. He's been a loyal referee for us for many years now. And he continues to be a loyal referee. Punch in the back. Punch to the back. Nice. Ooh, no counter. Ooh, nice clothes on. Breaker by Damian Mercer. Jeez, Chris Clark just got back. Oh, nice. 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, he missed. Oh, Damian Mercer trying to take Chris Clark down. No, Damian Mercer missed their beast. Lead. Ooh, that was nasty. That was a nasty miss. What is he thinking? I don't know what he's thinking, Beastly. I don't know what he's thinking, buddy. And the count. And the count is starting. I don't know what he's thinking, but. Man. Everyone on Facebook, hit that follow button on the Beastly Facebook page. Hit that follow button on the Beastly 1991 Twitch channel. 
And if when I do upload this to YouTube, subscribe to my Tyler Black YouTube channel. Uh oh, Mercer. The Mercer's end. The Mercer's end. No, he missed. Chris Clark missed that drop kick. And there it is. There's the. Boom! Oh, Chris Clark's busted wide open. Damian Mercer says, suck it there, Beastly. What is wrong with that little loser? But he got thrown over the, over the top rope, which was beautiful. So. Oh, something's going on, folks. Uh, Hang on. Uh, what, I can't do nothing? Okay, good. Thank you. All the wax stuff. The rest counting on the outside too. Where's Clark? Where's Clark? Is a he's a Hall of Famer. Of he's in the Hall of Famer refunding as well with me, Tyler or with me, Beast Black. Yes, where's Clark's in the Hall of Fame with Beast Black. A nice job by Damian Mercer. He wants to beat a Hall of Famer. Damian Mercer thinks by beating Hall of Famer it would solidify his career. Could be. Could solidify Damian Mercer's career with a victory over a Hall of Famer like Chris Clark. Chris Clark has won 110 career titles in his defense career. Hit, no, counter. Ooh, Chris Clark's. CK! Oh, he got up! He hit the CKO, but he got up! Chris Clark started e fighting 2018, I believe. Yeah, 2018. Yeah, 110 career titles. He started much later than I did, but, uh. He got one of more titles to win before he ties me. But I'm proud of Chris. I'm proud of Chris Clark. He's, he's come a long way. What? L play. Water slide. There it is, BC. Ooh, that was nasty. That was nasty. That was nasty, Kurt. That was nasty. You are absolutely right. That was nasty. Five, six, seven, eight. This part's up at eight. This part's put. This part's putting it on. Mercer, Mercer Thunder. Mercer Thunder was hit. And Mercer DDT. Chris Clark could be out. Two. Three! Four! Five! Six! Seven! Eight! Chris Clark's up at eight! Chris Clark don't want to start his... Don't want to start his career 0-2 here at RABW. Amy Mercer 1-0. That's a good start. First card lost the Monsterous on the on episode one, and Damian Mercer won the state's title in that fatal four-way. So, yeah. Uh oh, my goodness, my goodness, Backbreaker jeans. He's doing what it takes. Backbreaker again. He's doing what it takes to just beat the crap. Out of Chris Clark, please. Three, four, five, six, seven. I want to 
welcome everybody to the Beast Den. The Beast Den. That's what I'm calling my group now, the Beast Den. Oh, there it is! Clark Slam! Clark Slam! We do got a merchandise store, folks. We do got a merchandise store to buy all of our merch now. We can buy Red Aqua Blue Western merch. We dominate Dylan merch. CKO merch. And there it is, the CKO right there. That's Chris Clark's got his own merch of CKO. My mom, my mom's got merch. My dad's got merch. Uh, great grandma, which is Carol Power, she has merch. Hey, Chris Clark wins the state's championship. Chris Clark. Has just won the state's championship and he goes to 13 and 1 in a last man standing. Chris Clark. Wow. Wow. Damian Mercer had the title for two days. Two days, folks. Two days as champion. Holy cow. Wow, he won the title on March 5th, and his title reign ends on March 7th. We will keep track of a title history here for the states. We will keep title history for each championship. First champion, Damian Mercer, won on March 5th, 2021. Chris Clark's the second champion of this title. And he won it on March 7th, 2021. Congratulations to Chris Clark. What do you think, Beastly? Congratulations to my partner. To one of my partners and best friends, Chris Clark. That's right. Let's go on to our next match here on Red Aqua Blue Wrestling here today. And it's an Ice House Cage match. The debuting Ryan Storm taking on the debuting Cowboy John, the leader of the Outlaw Bandits. Ryan Storm. Oh boy. Thank you. People need to be specific on what they want. Yes. People, like I said, people can't be specific and civil. And they don't want to be. Uh, my question to you, uh, did you see the letter here? Mm, don't want that. Don't want that, folks. And introducing Ryan Storm. Ryan Storm, folks. I will be changing Ryan Storm's entrance to as well. I will be changing his entrance.
and his opponent. He is the leader of the Outlaw Bandits. Cowboy Sean. Cowboy John, folks. He's the leader of the Outlaw Bandits. Yes, he is. Go the ice house cage and a knee to the gut by Cowboy John. Cowboy John. No, I'm not buying flowers. I don't buy flowers. Thank you. I don't buy viewers. I earn all my flowers and viewers naturally. I don't buy them. So, thanks for the advice, but I will not buy my followers and views. That's just not who I am. So, thanks, but no thanks. That's right. Tyler Black doesn't buy his viewers. He doesn't buy his followers. That's not who he is. So, thanks, but no thanks, my Wow, beast. Jeez. Nice job by Cowboy John. Cowboy John, also a Hall of Famer. Cowboy John. Ooh, nice. Nice job by Cowboy John. Uh, Ryan Storm takes him down. Ryan Storm. Should have been. Ryan Storm needed a whole new... No, a whole new attire, folks. He needed a whole new attire. He needed a whole new... Whole new stuff. That's what. Whole new stuff. Uh oh, back body drop by Ryan Storm. Nice. Ryan Storm. Nice. Going in. in the, oh no, he misses the drop kick there, Ryan. Oh, down goes Cowboy John. Nice job by Ryan Storm there, beastly. Man, that was nasty. But a, but a freaking. Fireman's carry there by Cowboy John. Luke does press by the Cowboy. Cowboy John. Nice. Luke does press. Cowboy John looking for Shotgun Stunner. Shotgun Stunner. There it is. Shotgun Stunner. One. Two. Kick out by Ryan Storm. Ryan Storm kicks out, folks. He kicked out at the count of two. Ooh, nice stomp by Cowboy John. And a knee to the face. Cowboy John putting on a clinic like he does. He puts on a clinic, folks. Counter. Oh, Ryan Storm. Wait a minute, Ryan Storm. Power bomb. The multiple power bombs. Two. And three by Ryan Storm. He's going to go for a cover one. Two. Kick out by Cowboy John. Man, that should have been close. That should have been it. That should have been it. Wait. You said that should have been it, please? Well, I thought it was it. Well, could have been. Ryan Storm going after that arm again. Snapping it. Jeez. He snaps it like that. Like, oh my gosh. Again, Ryan Storm. Ryan Storm with a submission. Little counter by Cowboy John. He is just Cowboy John. Ryan Storm hits the Guri kick. 
Integra kick by Ryan Storm. Nice. Oh, Ryan Storm. What is he doing? I don't know what he's doing there, but kick to the back by Ryan Storm. He's going up to the top again. He's going up to the top. Telling him to get up. Nope. Oh, he missed the split. He missed that badly, folks. There it is. Kick to the gut. Cowboy John going for that power bomb. Jack Knight power bomb, and he hits it. Cowboy John with a Jack Knight power bomb. No, and he counters. Oh, he counter, folks. No, counter again. Knee to the gut by Cowboy John. Or no, knee to the face. Cover one. Two, kick out by Ryan Storm. So close. Kick to the back. And a yeah, he busted open Ryan Storm. He busted him wide open, folks. The Cowboy John going up to the cage. Ice House cage. Oh, elbow drop. Elbow drop. Elbow in the gut. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Again, Ryan Storm, multiple power bombs. Ryan Storm, two, three. Ryan Storm, wait a minute. Storm five, there it is. Storm five, one, two. No, kick out. Kick out by Ryan. I mean, kick out my car, man. John, that was close. Man, I thought that was it, Tyler. You thought it was me and, me and you both thought it was over. Oh, beastly. My gosh, he's close. Oh, Cowboy. Oh, no. Ryan Storm. I think he's going for that Storm kick. He's going for that Storm kick. No, he missed. He missed. He missed the Storm kick. He missed the Storm kick. But Cowboy John... Wow, where did it? Oh, Kyle and John's in trouble. Close lines. And there's that kick. Oh, nice kick. Nice kick by Ryan Storm in the corner. Whoa, no, Kyle and John, Kyle. Bring it up, Kyle and Ryan Storm just back up. Punch in the face for Ryan Storm. Wait a minute. No, Kyle and Kyle and John, this is close. Close on, no, there's Ryan Storm. What a freaking match here! Jeez! Uh oh, Beastly. You know what time it is, Kyle. Shotgun Stunner. Again. Oh, that's it! Shotgun Stunner. One, two, three. Cowboy John prevails in a good match. Cowboy John prevails. In a great match here against Ryan Storm. What a match. Hey, Roy Beasley, the winner of the match. The leader of the Outlaw Bandits. Cowboy John. Cowboy John picks up a huge win over Ryan Storm in a great match. A great, great match here between the two. Great match between the two. I am. I'm happy to say that was a good match. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. Next, Chris Rivers versus Dangerous. Yes. Continues. Continues, folks. With the beast. This is a beast. Ball match. A beast ball match. Yes. It's a boss card anywhere. So, beast ball. Yeah. Got it. Chris Rivers, dangerous. It's gonna be good. I do 2K19 on Xbox One, but I got a capture card. That's how I live stream these shows. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 
There you go. Everyone learns a lot. You all learn a lot by what you see and what you do. You guys see a lot. Anyway, Beast League, introduce it first. Chris Rivers! Chris Rivers, folks. Chris Rivers. Alright, trying to make a name for himself, folks. This is his first opportunity to make a name for himself here in Red Aqua Blue West. You can win the world title here. I'm going to win the world title. You see, you say you're going to win the world title in the main event. That's right. I'm going to win the world championship. First title. That's what would be your first overall championship. And your first world title. And introducing, representing the Dangerous Bunch. Dangerous! Thank you, Ryan East, for liking the Beastly Facebook page. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And thank everyone for tuning into the show. Well, for seven followers here on the BC Facebook page, thank you all very much for following the remarks. I appreciate it. Here we go. Dangerous going right after Chris Rivers. Ooh. No oh, kick to the gut. Blows line down goes. Chris Rivers. Episode 3 we will crown the first IABW Tag Team Champions. We'll be running the first tag team champions. Job by Dangerous. Nice. Nice job by Dangerous. Gonna have a cover. One. Two. Kick out by Chris Rivers there, BC. You know, thought they were safe. And for a minute. Headbutt by Dangerous. Dangerous is. Dangerous is tough. He is tough. Spear by Dangerous. Spear by Dangerous. What a spear. What a spear. Good. Oh, what cow? Oh, 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boom! No! Dangerous punch! He caught him! He caught him the dangerous punch! Oh, there it is! There it is! Dangerous and monstrous are still mad at Bully Dominator Dylan for what he did to him. And they've been wanting to get a piece of Bully Dominator Dylan ever since. But Chris Weaver is dropping dangerous out of space. They say Bully Dominator Dylan has gotten taller and gotten a little bit muscular. So. so, what does that mean? Did Dylan reach up to their height? Got taller and gotten a little bit muscular? Did he? And Bully Dominator Dylan makes his return. Watch. Watch. Could be. Oh, Fox Flash by Dangerous. Stomping on Stomping on him. My God. My gosh, Tyler. That was nasty, Beastie. Yes, it was. Oh, Chris Rivers throwing dangerous over the top rope. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Don't you dare. Oh, my goodness. My goodness, James. That is a good night thing. Oh no. No. No! Dropping him down on his head. Whoa. Oh no. Kick out. Kick out. So close. Only dominated Dylan. Wait a minute. I mean, Chris Rivers. Dangerous. He saw an image of Bully Dominator Dylan and it distracted him. It distracted him. He saw the image of Bully Dominator Dylan and it distracted Dangerous. Oh, elbow. Wait a minute. Face first he goes. My goodness. Face first. He's seen the image. He's seen the image. Chris Webber's Brain Buster. Shooting Brain Buster. One, two. Kick out a dangerous half of all. That's shooting Brain Buster. Oh. That didn't get the job done. Double drop by Chris Webber. So close. Let's get so close, Tyler. Let's get so close. Yes, he is getting close. Chris Rivers, he's getting close, folks. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Hot shot, there it is. Oh, dangerous. Looking for the dangerous punch. And he does it. I thought that distracted my bully could do him in. Two. Three and dangerous defeats Chris Rivers. Nice job. That distraction didn't distract dangerous from what he wanted to do was to beat Chris Rivers and he did. Take it away, Beastly. The winner of the match. Dangerous. Dangerous wins the match, folks. He won the match. He won, won, he won the match, folks. Oh.
Chris Webber has just wrestled. He can't be in two matches at once. He just wrestled. So. There we go, folks. We're going to get ready. He's going to hit. Thank you. Thank your opportunity to the show. Thank you very much. Here it is, the first Fatal 4-Way uh, Beast Ball match, yes, Fatal 4-Way Beast Ball Elimination Match. This is the number one contender to challenge, this is the number one contender to challenge freaking Cody Anarchy for his Alliance Championship. At House of Blood. That's right. Oh Introducing Alex Reynolds. Alex Reynolds. Yes,
And what you do to Drake Drago? After Drake Drago, Jack Knight just jawbreaker Alex Reynolds and got Jack Toho by Alex Reynolds. So it's gonna be good, folks. We close on by Drake Drago on the outside. Oh yeah. Oh, nice, nice job by Drake Drago. Oh, Jack Toxic Hours. Wait a minute. Late job by Alex Reynolds. Oh, Drake just got leveled by Jack Toxic. Goldie back in the ring. Goldie back. Oh, yeah. I think Jack Toxic is going to be a title that last show. He's already the only one. His career, so. But one, two. The cops are Counter by Drake. Boo. Take a Jet Cops again. Jet Cops is the only one that has an 0 1 record so far. And 
We're not going to do this. Oh, there it is. Alex Reynolds taking down Jack Knight. Elbow drop. Elbow drop. Blue counter. Oh, shoulder ball. Nice. Nice shoulder ball. Nice kick by Jack Knight. Oh, that was nasty. Kyle. Ball breaker by Alex Reynolds. And down goes Jack Knight again. And a takedown by Jim Thompson on Drake. Down is the knees, double knees. Alex Reynolds showing Jack Knight who's boss. Oh, Jack Thompson. Down is one to come. And Alex Reynolds taking down Jack Knight. I'm dragged by Drake Drago. Oh man, Tyler. You know this, bro? Well, I know this, Beastly. I know, buddy. Elbow the gut, elbow the gut, and elbow the gut. Alex Reynolds picking him up. Alex Reynolds, boom! Was that Reynolds power bomb? Damn Reynolds got it! One, two, three! Jack Knight's eliminated! Jack Knight is officially eliminated, folks, from this match. 0-1 goes Jack Knight. Thank you for coming, buddy. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Get to the gut. Boom saw, there it is. What a boom saw. Cover. One. Two. Whoa, Drake kicked out. Drake kicked out, boys. Big boo by Alex Reynolds. What a big boo by Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker, punch in the face. There it is. There it is. Look at that. He, he's locked it in. He's locked it in. He locked it in. How much did he lock it in? Oh. Oh, he locked it in, folks. So close. He saw so close. Oh, man. Oh, man. No. Low blow. No, no he countered the low blow. He countered the low blow there. Hey, man. Jay Dragon. That did it to me. He freaking did it to him. Drake. Oh my gosh, Beast Lee said bye bye Drake. Alex Reynolds or Jet Tox is going to challenge Cody Anarchy for the Alliance Championship at House of Blood. Oh boy. Encountered by Alex Reynolds. Uppercut by Alex Reynolds. Punch in the face by Alex Reynolds. Bo Nelson face first. Alex Reynolds. Could he be going on one? Oh no, Jack kicks out. Oh my good time. Alex Reynolds could do it. He could have did it. There it is. Alex Reynolds. The Reynolds called out there. It is. He got it again, Alex Reynolds. Could be going on one, two. No, he kicked out. Jack kicked out. Jack kicked out, folks. All ball is up by Jack Thompson. Jack Thompson, wait a minute. Jack Thompson. There it is, Jack Hammer. Jack Thompson and the Jack Hammer. Oh, my goodie, Tyler. He should have went for a cover there. 
He should have went for the cover. You're right, Beastly. He should have went for the cover. Man. I'm telling you, he should have went for the cover, but he didn't. He didn't go for it. Which, that's his downfall. He should have went for the cover. Power slam by Alex Reynolds. What a power slam. One. Two. Kick out by Jack Thompson. He's getting so close, but... Close, but no cigar. Oh, man. Get in the face of Jack Thompson, James. He need him in the freaking face there, Bruce Lee. Oh, that should have been it. That should have been it. Wait a minute. Oh, we'll drop it, you guys. He missed the elbow drop badly. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There it is. Who's a fixed one? No, what kind Oh, he missed the boot. Uh-oh. Back suplex, Alex Reynolds. Well, back suplex. That could be it, folks. That could be it. This is a great match. This is the fourth match on the freaking card. Oh, again, Jack Thompson going for the top two. Jack Hammer. Got it. One more time. Jack Thompson. Could he be facing Cody Anarchy? Oh, this could be it. Jack Thompson. Drops him on his head. He dropped him on his head. Jet Thompson. One, two, three, and he does. Jet Thompson will face Cody Anarchy for the RABW Alliance Championship at House of Blood. Ha ha ha. Jet Thompson avenge his loss on episode one. He wanted, he wanted the freaking, he wanted title, but he lost, and there you go, he regained, he got a victory, now uh, him and Cody are I think for the Alliance title, at House of Blood, Jack Dobson, one and one, let's keep it going, let's keep it going folks. Casey Cage, Colt Mercer, Victor Grimm, and Tank Mason. This is a no more contender for the Slayer Championship. The Slayer Championship. So the winner will face Chase Williams at House of Blood for the Slayer Championship. It's going to be good. Gonna be good, folks. Gonna be good. We are an hour into the stream. Thank you all for tuning into the show here on Sunday, March 7, 2021.
And introduce me first. Representing Mercer Worldwide. Oh! Mercer! Oh, Mercer, folks. Oh, yeah. Introduce it, Victor Grimm. Victor Grimm. Is he part of the Grimm's group? I don't know if he should be. I think he's going to be joining the Grimm's group. We got Grimm. Luke. We got Grimm. Luke Grimm. Victor Grimm. Grimm's. Yeah, that's back. That was something to watch. Something to watch. Let me get down to the mat because I believe this is Take Mesa. Yes, it is Take Mesa, folks. We go. Let's get down to the match. Here we go. Come on, let's face the cage. This is Take Mesa. Ooh, bless me. Ugh. Also, we will have a Beast Den Tournament. That's right, we will be having a Beast Den Tournament. The winner of that will be the first ruler of the beast then. Right. Oh yeah. That means they will be the ruler of the beast then. So yeah. We'll have the beast then coming. There will be there will be Two tournaments, two eight-man tournaments. The two winners would face off against each other. They face off against each other, and then the winner of that match would be the first East End move from the title. That tournament and those two tournaments will be in April. It'll be in April. We will do it every six months. Every six months we will have a two, two East End tournaments every six months. One. Two. So how it would work is whoever wins the beast whoever wins the the rule of the beast then in April we face the winner we face the beast then tournament winner in October Actually, after the October winner, we had to face the now winner. And the now winner. One, two, no kick out the tank, Mason. That's October. October is winner. We have to face the ruler of the beast stand. For his, we were the beast in title. 
that title is only defended during the Beast of Turtle. Actually, yeah. So the so the Beast Dead Ruler would have to face the two tournament winners in October for his title. It would be a triple threat Beast Ball match for the Beast Dead Ruler Championship. That title is only defended every six months during the Beast and Tournaments. It's just a great idea. It's a great idea. I, I like the concept. It's I like the concept. So on the merch store, we will be making a Beast Den T-shirt. That's right, a Beast Den T-shirt. So you can be part of the beast band. So the two tournaments will be in April for the beast band. For the beast beast band ruler championship. Oh, BDT by Casey Cage, man. Casey Cage. One, two, through no. Victor Graham was already eliminated, folks, so. Oh, Casey Cage, my gosh. My goodness. Oh. Man, this is good action time. That's right, BC, it is good action. Mercer, my gosh. Nice. And Casey Cage is eliminated. Up the cup by Colt Mercer. So in April, we will find out the two Beast End Tournament winners. They will fight for the Beast End Ruler Championship. And then in October, there will be two more Beast Den Tournament winners. And they would face the Beast Den Ruler Champion for the Beast Den Ruler Championship. So, yeah. That's how that would work. Every six months, we would do that. So, April, October. Two cow. So it would be every April and every October. So, so two beast then tournaments a That means that title would only be defended twice a year? One. Two no. Chase Williams for his title at House of Blood. Holy crap. Wow. After October's tournament. At least the ruler title to be defended. I think we'll say any time after that. The 
And at least gonna be two Beast Den tournaments a year. So two, April and October. Wow. This is for the, this title, this number one contender is for the States Championship. States Championship, which is Chris Clark's title. Where this match will face Chris Clark at House of Blood for the States Championship. So you got Mike Anderson, the Monster, uh, Mark White, at Mark, Mike, or no, Mark White's at the end, and the third one is Miles Smith. Actually, we are gonna crown. We are gonna crown the first Beast Den Ruler Champion on the next episode, and then in April we will have the two Beast Den tournaments. While the two winners will challenge the Beast Den Ruler Champion. That's how that would work. So we're going to change it up a little bit. So, like I said, every six months, we'll have the two Beast Den tournaments. But the Beast Den Ruler Championship will be defended very often. And you beat the Beast Den Ruler Champion, you become the Beast Den Ruler. That's what that is. You become the Beast Den Ruler. So two episodes in April would be the two Beast Den tournaments. Oh yeah. Introducing the monster! The monster, folks. This guy is scary, folks. He's scary. Introducing Miles Smith! Introducing X, Mike 
Anderson. Mike Anderson, folks. The Canadian Nightmare. Also, the Canadian Nightmare, Mike Anderson. So, who's going to be the first ever Beast Dead Wooer? Who's going to be the first Beast Dead Wooer? That's going to be. Well, I'm going to be world champion. So, I'm going to be the freaking champion. Yeah, you're the world. You would be the world champion, yeah. Who's gonna be the beast? Who's gonna be the ruler of the beast? Then? Who's gonna be the beast? Then? Who? <laughs> That's the question. Introducing Mark, Mark Wright, Mark Wright, folks. Here we go. Here we go. I fell higher. Uh, here we go. Ooh, town goes up. Oh, the monsters always beating up a Mike Anderson and Mark Wright going up the miles. Yeah. It's beautiful. Gosh, Tyler, this is getting awesome. Man, this is getting awesome, right? It is getting awesome. And we got one more Fatal 4-Way match to determine the number of candidates for the World Championship. And then it's the main event. Beast Lee versus Jordan Bell. Sounds pretty interesting. I know, I know, BC, you got the uh, head back, get ready for your match. Get you, Tyler, I'm gonna get you start heading back to the head. Try to get back to the head. Okay, BC, we will see you later, buddy. Go get ready for your match, and we'll see if you can become the world champ. But thank you, Tyler. Yeah, I'll see ya on the head show. That's right, that's my co that's my commentator. That's my co commentator, that is my my buddy BC. He is another wrestler I trained before I retired. Another one I trained. So it's gonna help me do a good job and become the world champion. So we're gonna find out. What a power bomb by Miles Smith! What a freaking power bomb! What a power bomb, and we're gonna have a cover. One! Oh, not even a one count there, folks. Not even a one count. Chris, I'm live with, I'm live with the show. Okay, so, so we gotta set him up now. Now we got to figure that out. I guess, uh, I guess us four is going to have to discuss it. Two. Ooh, kick out. Kick out by Mike Anderson. Hey, good news, Chris. 
You're the state's champion. Two. Kick out by Miles Smith. Oh my god. So, Chris, you beat Damian Mercer in your match. So, Chris, do you, do you want to do you want to elaborate to Mr. Mercer on, on why you became the champion? I'm too good for him. That's a lot. Ha ha ha! What is this? What the frick? Powerbomb by Mark Wayne, are you kidding me? Mike Anderson just got powerbomb like a freaking accordion. Jeez. Picking him up. Picking him up. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. Canadian Nightmare. A Canadian Nightmare powerbomb. Mike. He lost Chris? That sucks. Ooh, kick out. Jeez, Chris. No. No, there's something going on with your team, Chris. I said they should have put you as the head coach. <laughs> One, two. That's what we gotta have to discuss. <laughs> the monster on Miles Smith and Mike Anderson got busted up with him. Third Natty Night Miles Smith. Goodbye. Goodbye Miles Smith. Oh boy, this could be good. This could be good for us. Oh! Punch in the face. I think it's time we're going to we congratulate Cowboy John on his victory over Ryan Storm. Boop! Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, uh, Mike Anderson up to the top rope. The monster is a scary human being. Oh, what a suplex by Mark White. What a suplex. Nice trip by Mark. I oh, know, nice trip by Mike Anderson. Oh, uh, the monster. Chris, I would feel sorry for you if you had to face the monster for your time. No, monst. No, not monsters. This guy's called the monster. No, not monsters. No. <laughs> Counter by Mark White. He counted it. He counted it. A punch to the face by. Uh, oh, what a kick by uh, the monster. Oh, he kicked to the gut by the monster. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's got him up. Oh, what a move by Mike Anderson. Mike Anderson, the Canadian nightmare. Oh boy. Uh oh, there it is. Boom! He hits it. He hit it. One, two, three. Mike Anderson eliminated. He hit Doom and he got eliminated. The monster. Oh boy. This could be. Oh my gosh! Jeez! 
monster, my gosh! Mark White's half your freaking size! You're a bigger guy, monster, jeez! Mark White does not even trace your size! Wait a minute, Mark White drops him down! Mark White! Could he be facing Chris Clark? One, two, three, it's Mark White! Mark White's challenging Chris Clark for his title! Oh, oh, oh. oh my goody! Mark White, just a little guy and he beats the monster! Wow! The winner of the match, Mark White! Nice! Nice job. Spear by Mark White. That's a nice. Oh, nice DDT here. Good job. Good job there, Mark White. Da, 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 da. Now this is the number one contender for the World Championship, James Jones, Loki Winters. Luther Grimm and Jimmy Havoc. Oh boy. This is gonna be good, folks. This is gonna be good. This is your semi-main event. Then we got the World Championship in the main event. This is how... This is how episode 2 is going to go down. Oh. Episode 3, we're going to crowd the first Tag Team Champion. Folks, here we go. Fried chicken, folks. Here we go. Introducing first. Loki! Winters! Loki Winters.
Happy Winters coming out for us. Introducing Luther Grim, representing the Grims. Introducing James. Jones! versus Jordan Bell. That's your uh, you, Cowboy Johnny, and Beast Lee, not Law Bankers. Mix him up. Jimmy Payne, chop it down, Luke the Grill. James Jones going after Loki Winters. Loki Winters have not forgotten. What Chris Clark's buddy Death Riser did to him. <laughs> he's still upset about that, Chris. And he's still upset about that loss. Who <laughs> Yeah, Chris Clark don't care about that loss, Loki Winters. Nick Bruce gonna care. Uh, no, Chris Clark does not care about you losing. So. Nice, jeez. Making it up. Max and Buck, nice. Nice Max and Buck. Nice. Not at all. Cage Jones. Nice. Don't do that, please. Definitely a penalty though. Do that, please. It could be a penalty. Ooh, Luke the Grim's got him up. Jimmy Page in trouble. Look at that power slam. Uh oh, James Jones. Oh, that float over DDT. There it is, our Loki Winters. James Jones. One. Two. No, kick out my Loki. Well, uh, Chris, uh, Damian Mercer only held his title for two days. So, uh, for two days. So, so you want to laugh at him, Chris, for only being a two day champion? <laughs> Chris Clark's 111th Korean Championship. Do-do-do-do-do, Loki Boys, down he goes! 
Face first, Flatliner. Two, kick out the James Jones. James Jones kicked out the Flatliner. But, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bam! Jimmy Payne, face first. 99 Jimmy Payne. Could be eliminated, Jimmy Payne. One, two, no kick out. Kick out, no, no drop. Oh, drop. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Episode 3 on Tuesday night. Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday night. Uh oh. Loot their grip! Going for it. The grip power bobby knocks out Jimmy Payne. How about Jimmy Payne? James Jones with a fucking sidewalk slam on Luther Grip. How can you pick that guy up, buddy? One, two, three. Luther Grimm's eliminated. Luther Grimm's eliminated. Well, oh, Jimmy Payne and Luther Grimm were eliminated. Wait a minute. James Jones! Boom! Oh, my lucky winters! James Jones can be getting a world title shot! One! Two! No! Loki kicks out! Loki kicks out! Wait a minute! Oh, nice! Nice job. Nope, Loki Williams counters. Shoulder block, nice. Loki Witchers. Could he even get a world title shot? Bam! He hits it! He hit it! One! Two! Whoa! James Jones kicks out again! He's getting so close, folks, he just can't capitalize! Yeah, there it is! It's freaking be there! Good night, James Jones! Thanks for coming! Oh, no, no, no. What is this? Oh, my gosh! He snapped the leg! He snapped his leg, folks. That is definitely snapped. There it is. There it is, folks. Ooh, nice. Nice. Nice stop. Jared Suplex. Jared Suplex. Trifecta and James Jones. Trifecta Journey. Cover. One. Two. Kick out. Oh. So close. Who's on stop? Who bites? Who bites? This could be. Lucky Walters! Toggles James Jones again! One! Two! Three, two! Loki cannot get the job done. He's a, he's a face. Super kick! What a super kick by James Jones. Man, that was nasty. That was a nasty super kick. 
How do we get up? How do we get up? This is the crossbody. Come on. Out to the face. James Jones. Boom, and it's over. James Jones will be getting the world title shot at House of Blood. What a victory. What a victory, boy. to our main event for the World Championship. Beast Lee versus Jordan Bell. Holy crap. <laughs> Beast Lee, Jordan Bell for the World Championship. Is Jordan Bell going to follow David versus footstep? And only be a two-day champion? <laughs> wow. You think so, Chris? <laughs> oh man, that'd be an embarrassing for Jordan Bell. That'd be that'd be an embarrassing for a uh, basketball player turned wrestler. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Made of it, folks. Introducing first, representing the Outlaw Bandits, the Challenger. Peace! Scary individual, six foot ten, three hundred thirty pounds. These scary people. Beastly's walking with a purpose, folks. He's walking with a purpose to win the world championship, to win his first title. In e and in his first world title. His opponent, a former a basketball player turned professional wrestler, and he's the current RABW World Champion, Jordan Oh, yeah. 
Florida Bell. Does he know what he got himself into? Does he even know what he got himself into? Dimension Playground. Beast Lee just entered his first Dimension Playground match. And Jordan Bell entered his second Dimension Playground match. The only time Jordan Bell was in a Dimension Playground match when he lost to me. <laughs> How's it feel, Jordan Bell? To already be 0-1 in this type of match. When my uh, protege here is entering his first. Jordan Bell, you already know what this match feels like. I told I told B Sleep that a Dimension Playground match is a it's a ruthless match. It changes your life. Tell him, Chris, tell him what tell him that this match changes your life. <laughs> I should know. I was 30 and 15 in this match, so yeah, 30 and 15, yeah, 45 Dementia Playground matches, 30 and 15, that's a pretty good record. I'm better than the most out of any E-Fed wrestler in the freaking business. Super kick by Jordan Bell in the back of Beast Lee's head. Oh, Jordan Bell. Oh! Close eye, nice. Close eye by Jordan Bell. Beast Lee gets throw right back in the quarter again. Oh, Beast Lee counters. Oh, Jordan Bell counters. And Jordan Bell countering everything Beast Lee throws at him so far. It's early in the match, folks. Beast Lee, he's just, uh, this is his, uh, first professional match in RABW, so yeah. He's gonna be a little, uh, a little sluggish. Because it's his first professional match. Get yourself into a rhythm, wrestle here and there. Uh, get yourself into that rhythm. Oh, Beast Lee. Beast Lee dropping him out of his leg there. Nice. Nice job, Beast Lee dropping him out of his Oh, what a kick. Punch in the back. Jeez, Beast Lee. How can Beast Lee get into that rhythm? What he needs to do, get into that rhythm. Nope. Throw the belt, throw him back in the ring. Oh man, Jordan Bell could be going for the zigzag. Boom, and he hits it. Jordan Bell could, could go up once in one. Two. Oh, whoa. Beast Lee kicks out. Beast Lee kicked out, folks. That body drop, nice. There it is, Hunted 2.0! The Hunted 2.0! Coming! One! Two! Oh, kick out by Jordan Bell! Oh my goody! Up and by Jordan Bell! DDT! DDT by Jordan Bell! How long? Oh, look at the kicks. Ooh, ooh. There it is. Nice kick. Nice kick by Jordan Bell. Super kick. Boom, he hits it. Jordan Bell with a super kick. Jordan Bell. Close line. Close line again. Jordan Bell coming back with a drop kick. This is great for this guy. 
This is great. Again, Jordan Bell. Ooh. Jordan Bell. Jordan Bell doing very well with this match so far. Nope. These leaders can't get any momentum right now. He's, tr he's tried, but Jordan Bell keeps coddling his momentum. Jordan Bell covers one, two, no, Beast Lee kicks out at two. Wow. Oh, could be it. Jordan Bell could go for it again. No, Beast Lee counters, what a counter. Beast Lee countered it, that was beautiful. Jordan going the top up again. He's leaving a freaking counter there. That was nice. Oh, punch in the back of the head. Throw him back in the ring. Cover. One. Two. No. Kick him. Elbow in the face. Ooh. Super kick, there it is! Super kick by Jordan Bell. Again, Jordan Bell. There it is, drive by. Drive by kick, oh man, Jordan Bell. Jordan Bell's not locked in. Indian death lock. Indian death lock. The Indian death lock, jeez. Going for it again. He got it. He got a zigzag. Jordan Bell. One. Two. No! Beast Lee kicks out. Wow. Beast Lee with that noise that Beast Lee packs out. Beastly had a tap out there to that arm bar. Beastly, belly to belly. Beastly going for that Beast Discus Clothesline 2.0. Yes, he does! He hit it. One, two, no! Kick out by Jordan Bell! Kick out by Bell! Uh-oh. Disc is closed on 2.0. There it is, he got it! He hit it back to back. Could be a tie ball game. One, two, no! Jordan Bell kicks out again! Jordan Bell kicks out again! Man! Nope. Nope. Goes on by. Goes on by. B. C. There it is, nice. B. C. Counter the Hunter 2.0. There's a big boot. There's a big boot by Jordan Bell. Jordan Bell has done very well against his rookie. Super kick. Nobody hits it. Jordan Bell is going to retain his title. One. Two. No, he kicked out. Beast Lee kicked out. Wow. Wow, this rookie Beast Lee. Impressing everyone. You think he's down, but he comes right back up. He comes up. Close on by Beast Lee, come on. No counter by Jordan Bell. No, he misses a drop kick. Off the cut. Big boot and knocks out Jordan Bell. 1-1. One, one. That big boot with knocking out Jordan Bell, it's 1-1. One, one. All squared up. 1-1. One, one. 
Again, Jordan Bell keeps going for this dry by. Boom, he hits it again. He's hit it for the fourth time. Oh no, what a kick by Jordan. What a kick by Beasley. Oh no. Oh, oh here it is. Disc is close eye 2.0. Oh, he missed. Beasley missed that badly. Wow, he missed that badly. I'm, I, I don't know what to say. He missed that badly. That's going on Botchamania. <laughs> That's going on Botchamania. I'm sorry. Super kick. Boom, well, he hits it. One, two, three. Jordan Bell retains the title. And a good match. Jordan Bell retains its title, folks. Well, whatever the match. And still, RABW World Heavyweight Champion. Jordan Bell. That still was a good main event, though, Chris. That still looks good. That, I know it cost Beastly that match, Chris. When he, when he missed that discus pulls eye 2.0 at the end. But he missed that. When he missed it, that's what cost him. Jordan Bell keeps his title. Oh yeah, he keeps the title. Mortabelle continues his reign as the World Heavyweight Champion. Well, that's our show. Thank you all for watching. Hit that follow button on the Beastly Facebook page and the Beastly 1991 Church channel. Also subscribe to the title Black Inca channel. This will be uploaded. Oh, blood. This will be uploaded to that later. Also, everyone, you can buy our merchandise at fbw91.logosoftware.com. That is our merchandise shop, which is the Be Sassy online store, which has got our ABW Red Aqua Blue Western t-shirt, the Chris Clark CKO t-shirt, the Bully Dominated Dilla t-shirt. The Grandma t-shirt. The Great Grandma t-shirt. My dad's t-shirt, which is Pop Hat. Uh, what my daughter calls it. <laughs> and then the Cassie Lee Black t-shirt. So that's all the merch out there so far. The later we will have the Beast Dead t-shirt be added to that. The Beast Dead t-shirt. Oh yeah. Gonna be adding that, so look forward to that. And we will see you for episode three of Wet Aqua Blue Western. Till that, folks.